one of the downsides of action movies is you're just watching somebody's experience on a small screen. What Blood and Truth lets you do is put on a VR headset and kind of immerse yourself in a story in a way that you could never have done before. Imagine your favorite parts of your favorite action movies. You actually get to be in that. London Studio worked on VR Worlds and one of the more popular parts of that was a game called The London Heist. It had action, it had drama, it had gunplay, but it was very much like a demo. What we wanted to do is take that, turn it into a full game. So everything that was in The London Heist, the object interactions, lighting cigars, shootouts, we want to take it to, well, beyond the next degree. Dial it up to 11 and just really kind of amp up the action. London Heist was kind of like our love letter to the classic Cockney gangster movies. When we started the project of Blood and Truth, our inspiration was way more kind of classic action movies. In Hollywood terms, it's very much a, a big blockbuster. The London Heist was, it, it, it was static, apart from in the van. Now you can move, you can move and shoot, you can dual wield, you can reload as you're doing it. You can plant C4 while you're taking enemies out. You can crawl through vent. Pretty much anything you've seen in an action movie, we've either considered it or we're doing it. When you're playing the game in VR, it's more immersive than any other first-person shooter. You get to feel like you're there. And when you're kind of hunkered down and you're under fire and there's grenades flying in, you feel the intensity and pressure in a way that no other game lets you do. Someone throws a grenade at you, you just pick it up, throw it straight back. You really feel like the action hero. And the moving adds to it in a way that the heist never did, which is it adds a level of tacticalness to the game, particularly with the strafing between points as well. So you kind of, you're in the middle of a far fight and you can dodge around, you can actually start peeking around corners and stuff in a way that you just can't do in a normal game. Blood and Truth definitely immerses you in a way that no other action game has done before. It makes you really feel like an action hero. And I think part of the reason for that and reinforces that is the movements you're doing, you know, in your head, you know, you just feel like you're immersed in that game world. When you get your clip and you smash it into the gun, that it just it just works and it feels right. We've got like fancy reloads you can do, like gun tricks. I mean there's people in the studio who can throw clips in the air and catch them. So as you get better at the game, it kind of grows with you. PSVR has just celebrated its first birthday. We've seen some amazing games come out in that first year year. I think for us, you know, Blood and Truth shows the potential of what could be coming next. I think these bigger, more blockbuster titles that really push the boundaries of what it is to kind of be in VR. It's like a compendium of all the best bits of all the action films and games that we love to play and we've just put them all together. We've only shown one location. We've got a load more levels that kind of showcase the glamour and grit of modern day London. We're just scratching the surface over kind of what we've got and what we're working on behind the scenes, and there's definitely more to come in the future.